Hello everybody, I am Overdragon and welcome to Achievement Guide. Today we will get all of the achievements in Elder Scrolls V Skyrim. Before we start, in this video there isn't any mods installed. If you want to get the achievements while playing with mods, you have to install the achievement mod enabler. And also, use of some commands will disable achievements. This video will be separated to 10 parts. Miscellaneous, Main Story, Hurtfire DLC, Dragonborn DLC, Dawnguard DLC, Dark Brotherhood, Thieves Guild, College of Winterhold, Companions and Civil War. Let's start with miscellaneous. You can get these achievements on normal gameplay. For these achievements, you need to reach level 5, 10, 25 and 50. And for this achievement, you need to get a skill to level 100. You can try to level up normally, but it will take a lot of time. Or you can use fast level up tricks and while leveling up using these tricks, you will get this achievement too. Most of these tricks include hitting Shadow Mirror with spells, weapons and arrows and waiting 1 hour when you run out of mana or Shadowmere's health gets too low then repeating it again and when you get a skill to level 100 you will get this achievement and be able to make that skill legendary making a skill legendary will set that skill to 15 and refund all skill points you spent on that skill tree then you can level it up again to get more levels infinitely other than using Shadow Mirror, there is two tricks to level up faster and they are easier to access the first trick is casting soul trap on a corpse just find any corpse and start casting soul trap on it. And when you run out of mana, wait 1 hour and continue. It will take roughly 30 minutes to get to level 100. But it will be a lot faster than using Shadow Mirror. The other trick is easy to access but only if you have the required things ready. For this trick, you need a random item, telekinesis spell and either 100% mana cost reduction gear or secret of arcana power. Using this trick will level up alteration to 100 almost instantly. If you don't have the required things ready, you have to get them. For the telekinesis spell, you can find it as random loot, buy it from Tolfir at the College of Winterhold when you get the alteration level 40, or 100% find it on two set locations. The first location is Redwaterland. You can find this place yourself or find it via following vampire questline. When you find it, go down the trapdoor and the door guard will let you in. Then you need to open this door. You can lockpick it, pickpocket the key from bartender, or kill them and get the key. After you open the door, keep going and you'll be see a jail room, which can only be opened with the key. If you didn't get the key from the previous area, you can get it from other enemies in this area. Open the jail door and you will find the book. Second location is Bankongarak. You need to travel to Solstein for this place. Talk with the captain at the Windhand docks and he will help you get to Solstein. Once you reach Solstein, fast travel for Solstein will be unlocked. Then find Bankongarai, which is on the other side of the map. When you found it, start clearing the dungeon. You will reach the door for Bangonkarai Great Hall. Open the door and you will find a pile of Lassa Argonian made books. Telekinesis book is under them. Secret of Arcana power isn't easy to get. To get it, you need 11,000 gold and at least 12 in-game days waiting. First, you need to be on Solstein and find Colbjorn Barrow, which is very close to Ravenrun. Then talk with Relis Sedaris and give him a thousand gold. After three days, a courier will give you a message. And then you need to go there again. Then you need to clear the dungeon from enemies and take the skull from pedestal, which opens the next part. Then give him 2000 gold and wait 3 days again. This time you have to find missing miners as well as clearing the dungeon from enemies. Then give him 3000 gold and wait 3 more days. This time you only have to clear the enemies. And finally give him 5000 gold and wait 3 more days. And you have to find him inside the dungeon where he summons Asidal. After the boss fight and deciding the fate of Rallis, you will find the book. Then you have to read the book and clear that area. This area is dark and you have to use a light source to not take damage. 
you will find the book at the end of the area. Then you can select one of the three different powers. Secret of Arcana is one of them. First, drop a random item on the ground. Then equip Telekinesis spell. If you don't have 100% mana cost reduction gear, select Secret of Arcana power. Then, activate the Secret of Arcana power. Start casting the Telekinesis spell on the item. While holding down the spell, open your map and fast travel as far as possible. And you now have 100 alteration. You can then make that skill legendary and do this trick again to get levels infinitely. After you reach level 10, 15, 25 and 50, you will get the achievements. For this achievement, you need to have 100,000 gold in your inventory. If you play the game normally, and don't spend your gold on too expensive things, you should be able to get this achievement. Or you can use gold farming tricks and glitches to get this achievement. For this achievement, you need to make a smithed item, an enchanted item, and a potion. Basically, use forge to craft any item, use arcane enchanter to enchant any item, and use alchemy lab to create a random potion. For this achievement, you need to get married. First, you need to find an amulet of Mara. You can find it as random loot, buy it from Maraval for 200 gold, after asking about temples, beliefs and marriage. After you have the amulet, you need to find eligible NPC who is an ally of yours. Then wear the amulet and talk about marriage. If they accept it, go to the temple of Mara at Riften and talk with Mara about arranging a wedding. Then wait 24 hours. After you get married, you will get the achievement. For this achievement, you need to buy a house. You can buy houses if you completed the required quest. But easiest and cheapest house is Brison. All you have to do is complete Bleak Falls Battle, which is the first dungeon in the game. After you give the Dragon Stone to Ferengar, you can buy the house from Proventus for 5000 gold. For this achievement, you need to successfully persuade, bribe and intimidate. For persuade, you need to have a small bounty and have progressed enough into the Thieves Guild questline. You can get the bounty with a failed pickpocket attempt. Then let a guard catch you and select this option. For bribe, you need to be progressed enough into the Thieves Guild questline. Then you can commit a crime and let a guard catch you and bribe using this option. For intimidate, you can select options with intimidation. For this achievement, you need to pick 50 locks and pickpocket 50 items. You will probably get the lockpick part on normal gameplay. For the pickpocket part, all you have to do is stand behind someone and save the game. Then pickpocket everything. If you get car, reload to save and repeat this until you get the achievement. For this achievement, you need to find and select a standing stone blessing. And for this achievement, you need to find all 13 standing stones in the game. You can find the first one at the start of the game. After you escape Targon, follow the path and you will find it. After you select one of the 3 stones, you will get the achievement. This one counts as 3 standing stones. So, we only need to find 10 more. Here are the locations of all the standing stones. For this achievement, you need to chop wood, mine ore and cook wood. If you have an axe, you can chop wood using chopping blocks. If you have a pickaxe, you can mine ore using ore veins. And you can cook food using cooking pots. For this achievement, you need to escape from the jail. First, commit a crime and get caught. Then select this option. You only have one lockpick, so you have to get it first try. If you have the skeleton key, you can use it too. After you unlock the door, 
You have to get your equipment back by picking another lock. After you got your equipments, go outside and you will get the achievement. For this achievement, you need to have 1000 bounty on all 9 holes. First of all, I recommend saving the game before starting. You can reach 1000 bounty by killing 2 persons. You can kill 2 guards to avoid losing any important NPCs. Or if you are a vampire or werewolf, you can transform near people to instantly get 1000 bounty without having to kill anyone. Then you need to escape until you can fast travel and repeat this on all 9 cities. For this achievement, you need to collect the Daedric Artifact. And for this achievement, you need to collect 15 Daedric Artifacts. But you don't have to have them in your inventory. Simply completing the quest is enough. There are a total of 18 Daedric Artifacts in the game. And because all of these are separate quests, I can include their entire walkthrough. So, I will just show you how to start these quests. Ebony Blade To start this, you need to be at least level 70 and have completed Dragon's Rising main quest. First, go to the Bender's Mayor Inn at the White Run and talk with Bartender and select this option. You might have to ask about rumors several times until quest whispering door starts. Then, you need to talk with Jarl of White Run about his kit. Then you need to find the kit and talk with him and continue from there. Volundrum. To start this you need to find Largusburg. They will be fighting a giant when you arrive there. You have to immediately rush to them and kill the giant. Because if Uyghur dies, starting the quest will be much harder. After you get inside you need to talk with Atab. Then you need to give one throw fat and one the other hair turn and continue from there. The Maze of Mologval. To start this, you need to go to the market. You will find two persons talking in front of the abandoned house. Talk with Tyrannus and agree to help him. And then follow him until he becomes hostile and attacks you. After you defeat him, go to the basement and continue from there. Dawnbreaker To start this, you need to find Meridia's beacon. You can find it randomly after you reach level 12. Or you can go to the statue of Meridia and she will give you the location of the beacon on a random place. Then go to the statue of Meridia and place the beacon and continue from there. Mehrun's Razor To start this you need to reach level 20 and receive an invitation from the courier. Then you need to go to the museum at the downstar. After you get inside talk with Silas and he will start the quest. Then you need to find all pieces of the dagger on different locations. At the end of the quest, you have to kill Silas in order to get the dagger. If you spare him, it will be impossible to get the dagger. Spellbreaker To start this, you need to reach level 10 and obtain the quest from a random encounter. Or reach level 20 and go to the shrine to pair it and talk with Cash. Then you need to give him 1 silver ingot, 1 death bell, 1 vampire dust, 1 flowers ruby and continue from there. Sanguine Rose to start this, you need to reach level 14. Then you can find Sam at any tavern in the game. Talk with Sam and agree to a dragon contest. And continue from there. Skull of Corruption. To start this, you need to go to the Wind's Peak in at Downstar. Then talk with Irondur and agree to help him. At the end of the quest, you have to kill Irondur in order to get the artifact. If you spare him, it will be impossible to get the artifact. Webjack. To start this, you need to go to Soljud. Then find Darwin and help him. Then continue from there. To start this, you need to reach level 10 and go to Falkreath. Then find Lord and ask about the dog. And once you reach the marker, you will find Barbas. At the end of the quest, you have to refuse killing Barbas. If you kill Barbas, you will get Rufal Axe. And it does not count as an artifact. And it will be impossible to get the actual artifact. Ebony Mail. To start this, you need to reach level 30 and find a book named Boethia's Proving. After reading the book, quest Boethia's Calling will start. Then you need to go to Sassanum of Boethia and continue from there. Over my Infinium. This quest runs concurrently with main quest, Elder Knowledge. So you can get this quest while progressing the main quest line. To start this, you need to reach level 15 and go to Septimus Signus Outpost. Then talk with Septimus and continue from there. 
Namira's ring. To start this, you need to go to Silver Blood Inn at Markard and talk with Clapper. Then ask him about rumors. Go to the Understone Keep and talk with Verilus. After you got the key, enter the Hall of Dead and continue from there. Black Star and Azura Star. In this case, you have to choose one of these two. You can't get both. To start this, you need to go to the Shrine of Azura and talk with Aranea. Then, go to the Frozen Earth at Winterhold and talk with Nelaka and continue from there. Ring of your sin and save your side. Normally, you can't get both of these. You have to choose. But at the end of the quest, if you don't kill Sinning, you will get Ring of Hersin. Then you can go back inside. And kill Sinning. This way, you will get Savior side too. To start this, you need to go to Falkreat and talk with people near Graveyard. One of them will start the quest. Then you need to go to Falkreat Jail and talk with Sindic and continue from there. For this achievement you need to absorb a Dragon Soul and for this achievement you need to absorb 20 Dragon Souls. If you play the game normally and kill the dragons you encounter you can get this achievement. For this achievement you need to learn all 3 words of a shout. You can get this very easily if you play the main storyline. For this achievement you need to learn 20 shouts. You need at least first word of a shot for it to count. So one shot doesn't count as three different shots. Unfortunately, I can't include the location of every single shot. You can check the pinned comment below to check out shot locations. Main story. All of these achievements are main story quests. Complete the main quest line and you will have all of these achievements. And since I can't include the entire quest line, here is the quest list. Let's continue with Hardfire DLC. For this achievement, you need to adopt a child. Easiest way to get this achievement is by traveling to Whiterun and finding Lucia. If you have a house, you can adopt her. For this achievement, you need to buy a plot of land. And for this achievement, you need to buy 3 plots of land. You can buy them if you complete 1 or 2 quests for the Jar of that old. For this achievement, you need to build 3 wings on a house. To get this, you need to complete the build the house. Each wing has three different options, and you can only choose one. For this achievement, you need to complete the build three houses. Let's continue with Dragonborn DLC. For this achievement, you need to arrive on Soul Style. To do this, you need to go to Windham Ducks and talk with Grjond, and bribe, intimidate, or persuade him, and you will knock fast travel for Soul Style and get the achievement. For this achievement, you need to discover 30 locations on Soul Slime. You will probably get this on normal gameplay. For this achievement, you need to own a house in Ravenrock. You can get the Severin Manor for free if you complete the quest Surf Cold, which requires you to complete two other quests. For the first one, you need to go towards this way and save Captain Wild. Then he will give you the quest. For the second one, you need to go to Ravenrock Mine and talk with Crescent and explore the depths of the mine. After you completed both of these quests, you need to talk with Captain Wallet, and he will give you the quest. After you completed this quest, you will own the Severin Manor for free and get the achievement. For this achievement, you need to learn the secret of 5 black books. There is a total of 7 black books in the game. One of them doesn't count towards this achievement. You need to find at least 5 books and read them. After you read them, you will be transported to the realm of Hermus Mora. If you complete these dungeons inside the books, you will get to choose one of the three different powers on each book. After you choose your power from at least five books, you will get the achievement. Unfortunately, I can't include all of their quests in this video. So here's a list on how to find them. For this achievement, you need to craft an item out of Stalrim. You can find Stalrim at these locations, but you can only mine it using ancient Nordic pickaxe. The easiest way to get it 
is by talking to blacksmith at Ravenrack and he will give you the quest. Then you need to convince Kreasus to give you the pickaxe. Then return it to the blacksmith. You will get the pickaxe no matter what you choose. To craft an item out of Starrim, you have to reach smithing level 80 and complete the quest a new source of Starrim, which requires you to complete the Fate of Skull quest. And then talk with Dior and he will give you the quest. After you completed the quest, reach smithing level 80 and found enough Starrim, you can craft an item in the blacksmith and get the achievement. For this achievement, you need to learn all three words of the Dragon Aspect Shroud. One word is at the end of the final descent quest, which requires you to talk with Kreasus and explore the depths of the Ravenrock mine. You will find a word wall with a dragon priest. You will find the next word at the end of the temple of Mirak. And you will find the last one at the end of the Black Book Waking Dreams, just before you will fight Mirak. For this achievement, you need to tame and ride 5 dragons. To ride a dragon, you need to use all 3 verses of Banville Shout on them. You can get all 3 verses by completing the Source Time main questline. For these achievements, you need to complete Soul Sign main questline. I can include the entire questline walkthrough. To start the questline, you need to complete the quest The Horn of Jargon Windcaller, which is one of the quests in the main questline. After you completed this quest, next time you enter any city, two cultists will attack you. After you defeat them, you will find a note in them. After reading the note, the questline will start. Let's continue with Downguard DLC. For this achievement, you need to change your face. To do this, you need to go to Rack Flagon in Riften, then talk with Galatia, and pay her 1000 gold, and change your face. For this achievement, you need to unlock all perks on Werewolf skill tree. You can turn into a werewolf if you follow the companion's questline. To progress the skill tree, you need to eat the herds of human corpses. After you unlock all perks, you will get the achievement. For this achievement, you need to unlock all perks on Vampire Lord skill tree. You can turn into a vampire if you follow the Dumb Guard questline. To progress this skill tree, you need to kill enemies with Drain Life spell or the Bite attack. After you unlocked all perks, you will get the achievement. For this achievement, you need to defeat a Legendary Dragon. Legendary Dragons start spawning after you reach level 78. Check this timestamp for how to reach level 100. Once you reach level 78, legendary dragons will start spawning like normal dragons. For this achievement, you need to complete the quest Lost to the Ages, where you need to use the Aetherium Forge. To start this quest, you need to find a book named Aetherium Wars, or you can directly go to the Archingtums to skip the first part of the quest. Keep going deeper into the ruins and you will find Katria. Talk with her and continue from there. For this achievement, you need to learn all three words of Soul Tear Shout. To do this, you need to progress the Dumb Guard main questline. At the end of the quest, beyond that, you will find Dornweyer. After you defeated him, when you go outside, he will appear again and teach you summon Dornweyer Shout. Every time you use this shout, he will spawn and teach you one word of Soul Tear. After you summon him three times, you will have all three words of Soul Tear Shout. For this achievement, you need to use the special power of Aureal's bow. To get the bow, you need to progress the Dawn Guard main questline. You will get the Aureal's bow at the end of the quest touching this guy. After you got the bow, shoot either Sun of the Rose or Blood Curse Arrows directly at the sun. And you will get the achievement. For these three achievements, you need to complete the Dawn Guard main questline. To start the questline, you need to reach level 10, and next time you enter a city, a guard or an orc named Drak will ask you to join the down guard. Then you need to travel to the fourth down guard. The quest marker may lead you to a different place. The actual entrance is through the Dayspring Canyon. Then keep following the road and you will reach fourth down guard, and continue from there. 
For these three achievements, you need to complete the Dark Brotherhood main questline. To start the questline, you need to go to Windhelm and talk with Aventus. There are many ways to start the questline. The easiest one is picking block to the Aventus house. Or you can ask about rumors to any innkeeper. After you talk with him, you need to go to the orphanage in Riften and kill Grelot. Then return to Aventus. After that, you will receive a mysterious note. And next time you sleep on a bed, you will meet with Astrid. Who you kill doesn't matter. Then you need to go to Dark Brotherhood Sanctuary near Falkriath and continue from there. For these three achievements, you need to complete the three squid quest line. To start the quest line, you need to go to Riften and talk with Brynjolf and agree to help him. While he distracts people, you need to lockpick the strongbox and get the item. Then plant the item on Brand Shea. Even if you fail this quest, you can still continue the questline. Then you need to go to the Rake Flagon using Redway. Then talk with Brynjolf and continue from there. For these three achievements, you need to complete the College of Winterhold questline. To start the questline, you need to go to the College of Winterhold. You will meet with Faralda. Then she will tell you to cast a spell. If you don't know that spell, you can buy the spell from her. After you cast it, she will lead you to the college. Then you need to talk with Mirabe and continue from there. For these three achievements, you need to complete the Companion's main questline. To start the quest line, you need to go to Jorvasker and talk with Kodlak and join the companions. Then train with Vilkas and continue from there. For these three achievements, you need to complete the Civil War main quest line. To start the quest line, you need to join either the Imperials by talking with General Tullius in Solitude or Stormcloaks by talking with Ulfric in Wildhelm. You can choose both sides. After you joined one of them, continue from there. And that's all of the achievements in Elder Scrolls V Skyrim. Don't forget to check out my other achievement guide videos. I hope you enjoyed and see you guys in the next achievement guide video.